get some weight on his body because uh, it's frustrating for him and for you know me to watch him not be able to gain weight and uh, I wish I could give him a few pounds but I can't so uh, I, I just try and push him as hard as he possibly can and he pushes himself he's very self-driven um, but he's gotten very much stronger you know just he's, he's strong but he it's weird like he gets stronger but he doesn't put on the weight and so he's he's going to be a big time threat I think this offense that people may not. Has he actually added some weight this offseason? Yeah, he has. He has. Just not in proportional to <laughs> how much stronger he's got. <laughs> the roster will shoot about 258. Is that accurate? Yeah. Yeah. I put on a try to, you know, and that, I attribute that to Rock because he's, uh, you know, obviously we've been working hard and stuff, but he's put us in the right situations to get stronger. And I wanted to play a little bit heavier this year than I did last year. So I'm up and, you know, at least 10 pounds, and I'm excited. What do, what do you think about having your position coach? calling the players. That's, you know, that can never hurt anything. <laughs> so uh, if the tight end's going to catch 50 balls this year, I guess we'd be in the best situation for it. So. The offensive line, a lot of people look at that as a strength. And you're part of that in the blocking yeah. scheme. Do you feel like this offensive line will be uh, significantly better than your line? I think that, you know, we're, gonna, we're going in the, positive, in the right direction. we got some, some new guys that are coming in and creating competition. And there's competition every day just to, you know, you're always trying to outdo somebody. And, uh, whether it's friendly competition or not, which 99% of it is, you know, uh, we're taking steps forward in the weight room and the <clears throat> in the meeting rooms, and, and now we're going to start on the field. And I think that we're going to have depth, and we're going to we're going to be a strong offensive line. Have there any, been any newcomers uh, on the offense that have caught your eye just in workouts or seven on seven? Every, everybody so? has surprised, not surprised me, but caught my eye this year on their work ethic and the way that they attack things. Um, it's it's good to see guys come in and, and understand how we do things and yeah there's t some teaching along the way and, uh, but everybody's real receptive to the information and they all come in and work you know work their butts off every day and uh, I guess the one thing would be when I found out Trey Smith was only 17 years old I was kind of I was shocked because I didn't know that I didn't know that he just turned 18 and He's a freak of nature, so uh, I'm excited to see how he does this camp. Today. From your vantage point, a guy that's been here uh, several years now, what, what's been the big, biggest advantage of you guys doing some seven-on-seven seven this summer? Timing, I think, is the biggest thing. And, you know, the coaches aren't allowed to be out there, so it's all it's put on us. You know, we've got to go out there and we have to develop a seven-on-seven seven and, and just all that stuff to get the timing down. And another thing it builds is leadership because you can't do it without leaders because – that everything would go all different directions. You got to have everybody on the same page, everybody running the same plays, and uh, we're not going out there just to throw the ball and getting, you know, throwing complete passes to the defense because then we hear it from them. So we obviously want to go out there and succeed and improve our timing, and I think that that's going to pay off. So who's, who's kind of yeah, who's gotten the kind of the upper hand? You get you're the defense. Uh, some, of that, some of that stuff. I would say we do, but you know they're probably not going <laughs> to. Not going to agree with that. Who's kind of taking the heads up of, of organizing yeah. those? That, and obviously the quarterbacks and myself and Jakob and just the, all the the older guys in the positions have done a really good job. And um, sometimes you know we get to, we get to go and talking back and forth to defense and things get out of hand. And there's always somebody. It, it's different every day. There's a lot of there's a lot of leadership building on this team, and uh, someone will always get it back. And, in the, in the right direction. Coach Jones said at Media Days that he's going to go game captains rather than the permanent captains like last year. How much of a care and a motivation is that for you guys to try to achieve that? It's it's big, you know, and, and it's more than just the game captains. Um, you're trying to build, you're trying to be a leader every day on this team. And, and I don't think there's really, you know, I don't think anybody's going to be bitter towards anyone else for getting the captain for that specific game. Um, we're just all trying to. We're we're all on the same path towards a common goal that, you know, we want to win a championship here. So, we're all going to lead each other and lead ourselves, and that's what I've been seeing. You know, there's a lot of people that have stepped up, and there's going to be a lot of people deserving of that game captain uh, title, I guess you would say. But, you know, there's going to be four that are selected, but a lot more that. Deserve to be a tight end is more than just catching passes. How is the offensive line?